Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 972. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 971 and 975, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in uh, Excel Magic Trick 784, we talked about empty cells or formula created blank and the confusion over the word blank. Now, in this video, we did uh, conditional adding. In this video, I want to talk about the difference between and we see a data set here. We have some data. I want to see, talk about the difference between an empty cell and a formula created blank, which is a null text string in the context of counting. All right. Now, what, when do we use this? There's lots of formulas where uh, you have the result. You want the formula to show show nothing. So you do this double quote, double quote. But something really is there. Now, let's check this out. There's something there, right? It's a, it's a it's formula delivered blank or a null text string. But what happens if we were to use the len function to count that? It gives us zero. zero, right? So null text string. It, it, it is a thing, but it doesn't have any length, right? Now, whoops, I left all the formulas there. I want to talk about um, counting. What, what kind of formula would you do if you wanted to actually just count the empty cells and ignore the null text string? Well, you can use count if, and I'm going to highlight this range here, comma, and for the criteria, you simply put double quote equal double quote. That criteria there means empty, right? So it's only going to see three. the three empty cells. Now, what if you actually wanted to count the empty or the null text strings, the formula delivered blank? There's a function built perfectly for this called count blank. If you go up to help, it tells you it'll count both empty and null text strings. So it'll give us a 4 here. Four. Now, count blank. Notice it uses the word blank there, so there, there is some confusion. Uh, sometimes because of this. What this really should be is count empty or null text string, right? No, they're not going to do that. Now, count blank, that's the name of a function. Let's look at a different function called is blank. Now, is blank tells you whether something is blank or not. But guess what? It's different than the count blank, it will only see the empty cells, right? Now, is blank is looking at one thing and delivering a true or false. But we gave it a bunch of things right here. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key, whoa, so this is an array calculation. It's given us a bunch of uh, trues and falses. You can see the trues only occur where there's an empty cell. Now I'm going to Control Z. I hit F9 to evaluate and Control Z. If I wanted to do the same thing as up here, this would be silly, right? I would use some product because it can handle array calculations. By the way, uh, so is blank is delivering an array of trues and falses. The double negative will turn some, them to ones and zeros. That's an array calculation. And some product is perfect for that. Now I'm just doing this formula to show you compare and contrast is blank with count blank, Three. right? They're using Excel. Microsoft is using the word blank there, but two different things. The count blank looks at empty and null, whereas is blank looks just at three. Of course, you would use this formula. Now, what if you wanted to say not empty, right? Not empty. That means, and we can use uh, this equals count if. Now, I'm going to highlight this range here. And parallel to what we did over here, I'm going to use the not criteria. In double quotes, less than, greater than, in double quote. Now, that'll tell me what's not empty. And guess what? That null text string will eight. be included. If you count them, there's eight there. If you really have that a task, you probably want to use counta, because counta is specifically programmed to count cells that are not empty. And it will see that null text string. Eight. Uh, finally, if you wanted to count uh, not empty, or null text string. Actually, I want to count that's it's not empty and uh, so 
So I don't want to count. I want to count Not everything over count here, the text things. String. But I don't want that null text string to be counted as a thing. So I'm simply going to say equals rows. Rows tells you how many rows. Well, if you highlight that whole range, it'll tell you exactly how many there are. What? 11. 11. That's how many rows there are. But now I'm simply going to subtract from that. Oh, I want the empty cells and the null text string. There's a built-in function that'll count just those, count blank. So by subtracting that from all the rows, boom, seven. I get a 7. All right, uh, that was fun with the word uh, blank. But really, we were talking about empty cells. And apparently, empty cells uh, with a formula delivered uh, blank or a null text string. All right, we'll see you next video.